Hey guys and girls, I'm Linksa123 and welcome to Gaming Memories about the game The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I have been through different levels of liking this game because to start with, uh, back in the time when I got this game, I personally didn't like it because I felt it was way too hard in comparison to Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask that I was playing at the time. Basically, uh, Twilight Princess just came out uh, in 2006 and I was playing that uh, afterwards when I got my Wii and basically when, when Skyward Sword came out in stores I was really hyped about it because wow man, the new controls with the Wii Motion Plus and all these uh, things seemed to be pretty nice but when I got the game, yeah, it just was way too hard and I I guess I was too young for the game at the time basically because I felt the story was way harder to understand in comparison to Twilight Princess that I could basically just plug and play in the Wii without no walkthrough, whatever, basically without any kind of gameplay help. Um, Twilight Princess seems to be a bigger game than Skyward Sword, but Sky Skyward Sto Sword still got this kind of uh, complex feeling to it, I guess, because you're flying from island to island, so if you need to go to a specific uh, island or a specific place, basically, you, you kind of know where to go, but I just felt the story was way too hard, so I was putting this game on the shelf for around two years actually and then I was picking it up once again with my friend Matthias and we was playing this uh, some few nights some few weekends when we was uh, together and stuff and it was it seemed to be a great time and we did some progress there but uh, sadly I basically forgot about it and I was going back to Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time and such on. So, after some more years, basically two and a half year, I guess, actually, I guess it's around two years from, uh, uh, yeah, ago from, from now on, so it was back in 2006, I was picking the game up once again, and I really felt for now I want to do some progress in this game, because, damn man, Zelda is my favorite franchise, and if I'm just leaving this game without even completing it, for God's sake, it would be a disaster. So I was picking this game up once again with my friend Emil, and we had so many fun times with this, because when we did this, we did no walkthrough, uh, playthrough about the game, we basically just did it our, on our own. We probably used some walkthrough to do some specific uh, side quests and stuff like that, but nothing, uh, nothing huge. So we were playing this game all the weekends we were together, we are basically together every weekend because we like to be together, we walk around, we play uh, different video games and yeah, you know what I mean, it's, it's just perfect to be together with that guy man, big shout out to Emil man. Basically this game was way better when I was older, I was around, yeah, I, I was 18 when I was playing it together with Emil. And wow man, we had so many fun times, we was basically completing the game from, I guess it was the second temple in the game, and from uh, from that point to the end. And all these memories, because there's enough to talk about, but we was just experiencing the whole game, we was doing this uh, beast thing where every time you, I, I, is it after every time you complete a temple, you need to fight against this gigantic uh, fur monster thing and he was fucking hard and through the game he turned out to be way harder and way it felt like he was uh, more ex ex advanced to kill and it, it took some time man but still I was really having a fun time and I, I hope Emil had too and wow man those weekends was the best man so Basically, Skyward Sword turned out to be way funnier and way better than I thought. Uh, you was uh, getting new items, you could upgrade the items, and you could basically um, buy the items, I guess, from the very start. At, at least you could uh, 
you could uh, upgrade your items that you could buy at the at the point of the game. Uh, you could upgrade them by finding different items, uh, some small skulls or claws or something like that. Uh, around the whole world and you could go back to the store and upgrade them and I did like that feature because I haven't seen that in other Zelda games at the time and it just felt really nice because we was feeling really overpowered when we got the purple shield I don't know what it was called uh, the goddess shield or something like that it was so awesome because now we felt like wow we are overpowered man sadly the only function in the game that I didn't like at the time was basically the shield had a meter that uh, could turn down to zero and then your shield will uh, break so <laughs> you your shield can be used and it can be used too much and I hate that feature because for God's sake I just bought this damn Highland shield I guess it was fucking expensive you can't even buy it as I, as I remember because you need to do this boss rush and the but okay let's talk about the boss rush in a second if you used uh, some of your shield and you just liked it it I may I think it would break or else it would like turn down into an unusable item I don't know man but I, I just hated that feature, but yeah, man, you can you can look through fingers with that. Don't don't mind that anyway. But the boss rush, though, damn, man, I thought, all right, we are good at all these bosses and stuff. So we was uh, collecting potions, we was collecting items, and we was basically just looting up for this section of the game where you need to. I I guess it's eight bosses that you need to kill in in some time. In some specific time, I guess, or else you sh you won't die. You you're not allowed to die because then you fail. And damn man, eight bosses in a row, and you can't like <laughs> you can't fill up your inventory with a health potion or stuff stuff like that. You are at your own, man. And this was so intense just to get the fucking Highland Shield. In other enough time, you can buy it for two hundred rupees. I guess it's actually less, but I don't know, man. Wow. That section of the game was intense, and you you actually start the boss rush by talking to a giant. Is it a god or something like that? I don't even remember, man. It is a long time since I've been playing that game, but sick stuff here. It was intense, but it was still funny. And to talk about funny things, it was also pretty nice and fun to uh, fight the last boss uh, in the in the game because. It just felt really great um, because he felt like he was really awesome and he was the final boss. Because in Ocarina of Time, the final boss got too many sections, I guess. Uh, Ganondorf got a flying section where he flies around and throws light balls at you. It doesn't make sense because he's the evil one. So he should probably throw some red balls at you or something. Some lightning balls filled with evil stuff like yeah, some goo. I don't know. Well... Um, but the I oh what what was he even called man? I don't even know. Let me search it up on uh, on Google in a second. Mm, all right, it's demise. Demise was a fucking cool looking guy. Take a look. Wow, I love the look of him. He is so nice. It doesn't matter if he was easy or something, but this guy, he had some balls. Um, I think uh, Demise was pretty intense. It was a pretty intense uh, guy here because sometimes sometimes he just blocks off your fucking attacks and you have no chance to hit him. And he is really quick, so he can just hit you even though he blocks your attacks. So that was pretty unfair, but yeah, okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, Jirahim, the other final boss, he was a more fancy looking guy, he had long hair, it doesn't make him fancy, but he got a little rupee on the side, he was really fancy, he got uh, a cloak, which uh, was looking pretty nice, and he was just fancy all at all, he was pretty creepy though, because he had a long tongue stuff in his mouth and if you have beaten him in the first section of the final boss basically he turns into this black guy uh, when and you fight him on platforms and stuff like that as I remember correct me if I'm wrong but damn man that that battle was also pretty intense but I really liked the battle because 
I know there are different sections here, but it just makes the final uh, final fight way longer and gives a new touch because it was two different bosses. I, I guess it's Jirahim that turns into Demise? Maybe? Correct me if I'm wrong, but just if it was, it's pretty cool because it's another beast and it's just nice. And Demise, I guess he's in the sky because the final room looks pretty skyish if I can call it like that. Another thing which <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys and girls. Wow. Koth. Um another thing that I really like for Skyward Sword, as I said in previous videos on the channel, is especially the music. The music had a really cozy sound on it. I really just enjoy listening to the whole soundtrack in my uh, spare time because it's really relaxing and just the whole feeling about the the music, it's really uh, amazing and I can I can't imagine another soundtrack that fits better to a game than this. Uh, I'm real here. It's um it's a real well-fitting soundtrack for the game, especially for the areas, because the areas is looking really nice. It has this kind of cell shading to it, but it's still not as cell shaded as Wind Waker, and I really enjoy that. Wind Waker was too tunish for me. It was a great game though, I haven't finished it because I was... I was uh, reaching a point in the game when uh, when the game went too hard on me. It was something about collecting Triforce pieces. Fuck my life here. <laughs> um, but Skyward Sword had a combination between the textures from uh, Twilight Princess and the Wind Waker, and I really enjoyed uh, I really enjoyed uh, that look of uh, of a Zelda game. For some reason, it just basically woke something up in me, and I just liked it, man. The first town that you start up in, Skyloft, there's so many things to interact with. Uh, you can uh, jump on stones, you can find a little cave, get some rupees, just loot a little bit and just buy some few things. Uh, you can fly around it with uh, your uh, flying dock there. I know it's not called a dock, but I don't remember the fucking name of that bird. And yeah, there were so many things to interact with and I really enjoyed the whole look of that town and when you reach over uh, it's different points in the game for example in um, I guess it's some kind of um, lava area thing um, yeah sorry if I'm I'm not having my facts right here but I'm just talking from my memory right it's the supposed it's it's the damn idea behind this video man well um, the other areas, especially the lava area and also the desert area, is looking really nice because the music fits perfectly for the area and the area has so many things to interact with. Uh, for example, some places can't you you can't um, enter specific areas in the in the area because you don't have the item, but you still know there's something behind that rock. For example, if you need the bombs, um, and you can just take a little sneak peek in there because. If you reach a certain point, a certain high height in the, in the area, you can look down at that uh, that road, for example, to another area and something like that. And I really like that because you are getting really um, curious on what's behind that fucking wall, but I can't enter it. So you keep on playing, and when you finally find that item, you can enter it. It's pretty nice, and I love the idea behind that. And I know some of you guys and girls out there might say it's the basically idea about all Zelda games, but come on man, Skyward Sword had some charming moments, and I just love that game. I have the special edition of the game for the Wii, and that uh, that edition was pretty nice. You don't get a mock, or you don't get a fucking Link hat, or a Master Sword uh, together with this edition, but you're getting a soundtrack from the game. I guess it's a re orchestrated version of some few Zelda uh, songs and I really loved that. At the time when I was getting the game, wow, I was, am I was amazed by that and I used it in uh, some of my oldest videos on the channel. For some reason it uh, don't have copyright matches on it. Maybe I should use it once again. Okay, let's not co talk about copyright because we're going strictly over the law here. Let's just drop that idea. 
But anyways, the, the CD that was following up with the game was really nice. Uh, if uh, you could get some kind of soundtrack together with a game now, it would probably be a virtual edition. But I really think it was a great idea to include a CD. Uh, so you actually got two discs together with this game in a in the whole pack here and I guess the fucking uh, the fucking edition here cost like nothing it was the same price as the original one with only one disc and that was the game for sure and there was also a third edition where you could get a, uh, a, a special edition Wii Motion Plus controller in gold with the Triforce on it yeah that's what I call amazing man because if you're a Zelda collector that is the stuff here I guess it's pretty expensive on eBay if you need to buy it from new but it's just nice to have also GameCube controllers is um, made in Zelda design and stuff like that just basically the merchandise for me I love that um, but even though I'm gonna stick to the orange GameCube controller sadly it's destroyed now because you know rage quits and stuff like that I never do that it's probably a meal or a bit me, I don't know. But um, yeah, that's basically the video for today, guys and girls. If you enjoyed watching this video and me talking about Skyward Sword, make sure to write it in the comment section. I, I'm more than curious to hear what you guys and girls think about me talking these gaming memories. I think it's pretty nice to just talk memories with you guys and girls. If you have some memories about this game, make sure to write it in the comment section. And if you want me to do memories about another game, it doesn't need to be Zelda, write it in the comment section. Until then, make sure to uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel and touch the little bell down below so you will get a notification every time I upload a video. It's just nice and it takes, hmm, let's say two seconds. See you in the next video guys and girls. Have a nice day, night, wherever you are at the world. See you next time. Bye.